One year ago today, in an elementary school in Uvalde, Texas, 19 children and two teachers were killed in a mass shooting. The community and Americans were horrified and heartbroken. Since that shooting, people have been putting pressure on Congress for gun control legislation. WENY Washington correspondent Rachel Knapp reports. Crosses with the names of the 19 students and two teachers are still outside the Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, honoring the names of the victims of one of the most deadliest school shootings in America. Law enforcement agencies have been criticized for their response. Lapel video showed some of them standing in the school hallway, even with the gunman still inside the classroom, waiting for more than an hour before they stormed in and killed him. The uncle of nine-year-old Jackie Cazares says the anniversary of this shooting is overwhelming with sadness. You know, this this is a day that you reflect, you think about their, their love that they shared, you know, the, the children and, and what Jackie was like. And it, all you can do at this point is basically support each other on a day like this. Following the shooting, people and the president urged Congress to act. After weeks of negotiations, Congress passed the bipartisan Safer Communities Act. It enhances background checks for people under 21 years old who want to buy guns, provides millions of dollars for states to implement so-called red flag laws that allow officials to temporarily take away guns from people the court considers to be a danger to themselves or others. The legislation also puts more money into mental health programs and security in schools. The legislation is seen as one of the biggest gun control bills in decades. Guns is certainly an epidemic in this country. It's the number one killer of our kids in America. And the president's going to continue to ask Congress uh, to take more action. President Joe Biden is wanting Congress to enact an assault weapons ban. But with that idea being a hard no for many Republicans in both chambers, it's unlikely that will happen. At the Capitol, Rachel Knapp reporting.